Former prisoner of war, Burl Roberts, will now lay the wreath on the Tomb of the Unknown with his escort. Sustained by the pride of service in time of national danger. Because of them, our nation lives. Because of them, the world is blessed. May the ceremonies of today deepen our reverence for our dead. To you who are left behind, we realize how futile our mere words to express our deep and abiding sympathy in your laws. May you feel that he is resting in endless peace. Generation after generation, all those shadowy people of the past have lived as we live perplexed and mystified by death, have gone into the great beyond with hearts filled with wistful longing, as all must go. Surely there is an afterlife for all who have been loyal and true, a life to which light and peace shall come, where the burden shall be lifted and the heartache shall cease, where the love, the hope, and the fulfillment that escapes us here shall be given to us to be ours forever. Commander Reed, take charge of the firing party and salute the fallen.
the wreath before you represent a commitment as a United as a United States of America to remember the fallen. We also want those holiday wreaths to symbolize our honor to those who have served and are serving in the armed forces of our great nation and to their families who endure sacrifices every day on our behalf. To our children, we want you to understand the freedoms you enjoy today have not been free, but have come with a cost that someday you may have to pay yourself. As a nation standing together, we can defeat terrorism, hatred, and injustice. Thanks to our veterans, we have a freedom to do just that. We could quote you all the statistics of individuals buried around the country, but all you would have is a bunch of numbers, and we instead ask that you take a moment and visit a grave site. Write down the information on the person placed there. When you return home, research their name on the internet. Find out all you can about this person, and you'll find out that they are real Americans with families, mothers, fathers, sons and daughters, brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles. They were and are more than just a statistic. Thank you for being here. At this time, uh, I'll ask Commander Hogan to introduce the elected officials. You may be seated. At this time, it's uh, truly a pleasure uh, to introduce to you uh, for a few remarks uh, a couple of individuals. First, I'd like to call upon John Spruitt, who is the director of the Kilcock National Cemetery here in Kilcock, Iowa. And I think we all have to freely admit that this place is one of the most uh, beautiful places you could ever see on a uh, December 14th day. Uh, I would like to welcome everyone and thank you for coming out here on a beautiful uh, December day. A special thanks to Gary uh, Folio and Pat Hogan for organizing uh, wreaths across America at Keokuk National Cemetery. And I would also like to thank uh, Susie Glasscock for getting the word out over the radio about the ceremony and the cemetery. She really did a superb job, gave us a great plug out here. Most important, I would like to thank the veterans past and present, those who have served and are presently serving. Uh, also, I would like to tell you a little bit about the uh, cemetery itself. Keokuk National Cemetery was established in the 1860s and dedicated the same day as Arlington National Cemetery. It is the only national cemetery in the state of Iowa. The cemetery is 22 acres in total, with 11 acres being developed. To date, there are 4,811 veterans, including family members, interred at the cemetery. The cemetery is open 365 days a year from sunrise to sunset. Uh, Wreaths Across America is an important ceremony for paying tribute to all veterans. On this day, we honor our fallen, those who have served, and we are serving. This day is important for remembering our veterans, but we should remember our veterans every day, if not in ceremony, in our hearts and thoughts.